Greetings, YouTube community, sports fans nationwide. You have entered the Sports Opinion Log. Here in Lex Anderson World, I'm your boy slash your host, Lex Anderson. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about Game 1 Western Conference Finals, Golden State Warriors versus the Portland Trail Blazers. So if you like NBA action, NBA playoffs, all things Golden State or Dame time, do the right thing. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to your right to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now let me just get down to brass tacks and talk about this video. Final score, Golden State Warriors 116, Portland Trail Blazers 94. Ouch, 22 point drubbing. Sounds good, I'll take it. Now of course the early storyline is brother versus brother, Steph versus Seth. At the end of the day, no one really cares outside of their immediate family. I'm tired of hearing about co combining jerseys, which I find horrendous, tacky, and ugly. Seth Curry is going to be a minor footnote as I, the Prophet, had decreed that the Splash Brothers would be back and be at full tilt minus Kevin Durant, and they proved it because Steph Curry scorched the Trailblazers for nine three-pointers, 36 points. And Clay Milk Chocolate Thompson, 26 points. And of course, Draymond Green setting the tone with no KD. 12 points, 10 rebounds, 5 assists, 3 blocks, and 2 steals. How about that? But, like I said, it would be a game of the backcourts. And unfortunately, Dame time and CJ McCollum didn't really come to play. Combining to go 11 for 31. And uh, pretty much that's all she wrote, honestly, folks. And I will gladly take that. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see what we got here, though. Three-point range as a team. Portland Trailblazers, 7 of 28. And, of course, the Warriors, 17 of 33. And like Ida Prophet had called, look for the Splash Brothers to be reunited. Never felt so good. Maybe the storyline is... If you want to beat the Warriors, put Kevin Durant in the lineup. How hilarious would that be? <laughs> Minus 35 points a game. And look at who's still holding it down for the crown. As the Warriors are on their way and clearly will not be denied from this three-peat. So, you know, a part of me wanted to talk a little bit about the Nuggets blowing a chance, being a fake-ass two-seed to have the Western Conference Finals. It would have been so much more intriguing, honestly, to me if the Nuggets had advanced. With no Durant, the Nuggets had the bodies, but unfortunately, Jamal, M.I.A. Murray, Yochik, Millsap, you can't be missing 11 free throws at home. So that's all I will say about the Denver Nuggets because they let me down horrendously and they really deserve no more airtime. Speaking of airtime, all the props I do give to Steph Curry because he knows how to play the game. He's not a former MVP for no reason or NBA champion, but people want to hate on and doubt him. But clearly, if you could get past the blustery, trash-talking, but they can't back it up. No, the Rockets. Yes, excuse me. The Rockets wrote a check that their ass couldn't cash. But sadly, the owner will have to continue writing out those checks to that lame-ass team that he got with CP0 and the beard. Meanwhile, the Warriors are just going to keep rocking and rolling. If I was KD, I honestly would not come back for Game 2. Just let them do what they're doing, honestly. Rest yourself. Come through for a road game. Or just rest up for the NBA Finals. The Prophet did decree that the Warriors would win in 6 who knows? No KD. This might be a sweep. Oh, and let's not forget, speaking of sweep, Steph Curry does own Dame time in the playoffs. Perfect record, 7-0. So, with that being said, I'm about to close the chapter on Game 1, Western Conference Finals. Rockets, excuse me, Warriors lead the Series 1-0. America, let me know what you're thinking out there. Drop a comment below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. I thank you very much for listening to this video. This is your boy Lex Anderson. Until next time, America, I'm signing out.